All right, so in this problem, I have 2 to the power of x is equal to 3 to the power of x. So I obviously want to find the value of x here. So for my solution, I'm going to first start by writing 2 to the power of x is equal to 3 to the power of x. And I'm going to take the log of base 2 on both sides. So now I have log base 2 of 2 to the power of x is equal to log base 2 of 3 to the power of x. Now, if I have something in the form log base a of a, this is simply equal to 1. So as you see here, we have log base 2 of 2. And actually, before I cancel these two out, if I have something in the form log base a of to the power of b, I can move this exponent of b to the front. So it's going to equal b times log a. So in this case, I have x as my exponent, so I can move this to the front. So now I have x times log base 2 of 2 is equal to, I'm going to do the same thing over here, log base 2 of 3 to the power of x. I can move x to the front here. So now I have this is equal to x times log base 2 of 3. Now remember, if I have something to form log base a of a, this is equal to 1. So log base 2 of 2 is to cancel out, so I get simply left with x times 1 is equal to x times log base 2 of 3. And x times 1 is simply x, so I get x is equal to x times log base 2 of 3. Now, I'm going to subtract both sides by x, base log, sorry, x log base 2 of 3. So these two cancel out, and I get x minus x times log base 2 of 3 is equal to 0. Now if I factor out x, I get x times 1 minus log base 2 of 3 is equal to 0. And if I divide both sides by 1 minus log base 2 of 3, these two cancel out, and I'm left with x is equal to 0. All right, so in this problem, I have 9 to the power of x is equal to x to the power of 6. Now I'm going to find the value of x. So for my solution, I start with 9 to the power of x is equal to x to the power of 6. And I'm actually going to take the power of 1 over x on both sides. So now I have 9 to the power of x to the power of 1 over x is equal to x to the power of 6 to the power of 1 over x. Now if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 9 to the power of x to the power of 1 over x, that's going to equal 9 to the power of x times 1 over x. And x to the power of 6 to the power of 1 over x, that's going to equal x to the power of 6 times 1 over x. Now x times 1 over x, these two cancel out, so it's just I'm simply left with 9, is equal to 6 times 1 over x, which is 6 over x. Now I'm going to take the power of 1 over 6 on both sides. So now I have 9 to the power of 1 over 6 is equal to x to the power of 6 over x to the power of 1 over 6. And again, this is going to equal x to the power of 6 over x times 1 over 6. These two cancel out, 
So I'm left with 9 to the power of 1 over x is equal to x to the power of 1 over x. Now, 9 is the same thing as 3 squared. So I get 3 squared to the power of 1 over x, 6 is equal to x to the power of 1 over x. 2 and 6, these make 3. So I get 3 to the power of 1 third is equal to x to the power of 1 over x. And notice how this is in the form x to the power of 1 over x. A number to the power of 1 over that same number is equal to x to the power of 1 over x, meaning x is simply equal to 3. So now to check, my original equation was 9 to the power of x equals x to the power of 6. So I get 9 to the power of 3 is equal to 3 to the power of 6. And 9 is the same thing as 3 squared, so I get 3 squared to the power of 3 is equal to 3 to the power of 6, which is 3 to the power of 6 is equal to 3 to the power of 6. Alright, so in this problem, I have 49 to the power of x minus 42 to the power of x is equal to 36 to the power of x. So I'm going to first start by dividing every term by 49 to the power of x. So then these two cancel out, and now I get 1 minus 42 to the power of x over 49 to the power of x is equal to 36 to the power of x over 49 to the power of x. Now 42 over 49, that's the same thing as 6 over 7. And 30, 36 over 49, that's the same thing as 6 over 7 squared to the power of x. And now I can actually switch the places of 2 and x. So this is the same thing as 6 over 7 to the power of x squared. Now I'm going to let 6 over 7 to the power of x equal to the variable y. So now I have 1 minus y is equal to y squared. And this is the same thing as y squared plus y minus 1 is equal to 0. Now you have to use a quadratic formula to actually solve this, but if you do, you end up getting that y is equal to negative 1 plus or minus the square root of 5 over 2. And now remember how we let 6 over 7 to the power of x equal y. So now I have 6 over 7 to the power of x equal negative 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2. So let's first start with this. I'm going to take the log on both sides. So now I have log of 6 over 7 to the power of x is equal to log of negative 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2. So now I can move this x to the front and divide both sides by log 6 over 7. So now I have these two cancel out. x is equal to log of negative 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2 over log of 6 over 7. Now, we can also do the same thing with negative 1 minus the square root of 5, but it would just be the same outcome, but instead of plus, this is going to be minus. So I also have x is equal to log of negative 1 minus the square root of 5 over 2 over log 6, 6 over 7. 